Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about calendars and why you would want to add one to your team site. The HR site, as I'm in here now, probably has a lot of dates to keep in track of. Each month, salary needs to be paid. Usually there are some taxes that need to be paid, the vacations, sick leaves, closed for holidays, those kind of things. So to add that kind of information to an HR site, we simply add an app to the site and use the calendar and call that HR events. And then of course, as usual, you pull it out of recent so that it sticks there, not disappears after 48 hours. And then you start adding items to this. As usual, I recommend going into list settings and enabling the versioning settings. That's always a good thing to have to see who changed what and when it was changed. And then of course you can create new columns and create views and all those kind of things. What you really want to do of course is create items. And you do that either by clicking this add icon here that appears when you hover over a date or you double click in a date that works too. And then you simply enter the information. So let's say was this the seventh? This is a national holiday. And the description can be closed for business or something. And then you just save that. And that was 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. That's probably not correct. So I'm going to open that again, double click on it, edit the item and say that this is a whole day value. And you put that in there all day and then save that. That looks much better. You can drag these around and change the values because of that. And that way, you cannot hold down control and make a copy regretfully. So if you want to make a copy, then I would recommend using Outlook to fill this calendar with information. Now, once you have an HR calendar, I'm going to put that on the front page of my site. And I'm going to do that by editing the page and then simply adding an app part showing that. So the HR events. So there's the, the calendar on the first page of my HR site. Of course, you can continue modifying this and making it maybe just showing this week or something else. You would do that in the regular way by modifying the web part view here. Once you're done, you simply save the page. And of course, here you can also add new items directly from the first page of your HR site. One important thing to know that's very important that I often get questions about is how does that relate to my regular calendar, the one that I see here. Now, this calendar is your own personal calendar for planning, scheduling, meetings, and so on. This is a shared calendar for a team, a project, or something like that. In this case, it's for the HR department. So it, there's no relation between that calendar and your own personal calendar. If you're using Outlook, you can drag and drop between your personal calendar and the HR shared calendar like that. But that's another demonstration that I'll do shortly. Thank you for watching this demonstration.